Hi, I'm Matt Ashton from the Queensland Academy of Sport, and this is the Hyundai Queensland State League. Welcome to the Hyundai Queensland State League Highlight Show, brought to you by Hyundai, Red Rooster, and Football Queensland. This weekend saw the halfway mark in the Hyundai Queensland State League, and our highlights come to you from Lions Stadium in Brisbane, where third played fourth. The Queensland Academy of Sport, who used the complex for their home matches, took on the Redland City Devils in what promised to be an intriguing battle. Both sides started brightly, and it was obvious that both were fully committed. Both sides saw plenty of possession, but Redlands looked comfortable in defence and continued to move the ball around well. QAS keeper Matt Acton was called upon in the 38th minute to tip a 30-yard Danny Byrne strike over the bar. Well hit by Byrne and well saved by an agile Acton. Moments later, Acton was called into action again, saving with his feet at his near post from Cardo Ayosi. Although the visitors probably held the better possession and created a number of chances, the sides went into the break with the scores locked at nil all. The second half started as the weather conditions started to deteriorate. Ten minutes into the half, QAS came striding forward with some accurate passing, defence to midfield, and an accurate pass from Tyler Thurtell found half-time substitute Mitch Bevan open on the left. Bevan headed directly towards the goal for 15 metres, unchallenged, before drilling the ball into the back of the net with his left foot past Andrew Ralph and by the upright. Well hit finish by Bevan, who had found himself plenty of space, but still took the chance well. Redlands were not going to sit back and they responded with some concerted attack. One such chance came when a cross to the back post eventually found its way to substitute Pat Polistina on the edge of the penalty box. He managed to get a shot on target but QAS keeper Matt Acton saved well down low to his right. However, on 63 minutes, the skillful Ko Sataki played a 1-2 with Ben Halloran and headed into the penalty area, where he was held back by Anthony Paolino and went to ground while shooting. Paolino, who had already received an earlier yellow card, looked around to see referee David Wiebe pulling out another yellow card, then a red, and dismissing him to the dressing rooms early. Ben Halloran stepped up to take the penalty and sent Ralph the wrong way to give the QAS a 2-0 lead. cool and calm by the young Halloran. QAS were dominant now and a minute later Ben Halloran was challenged by Danny Byrne but got his pass out to debutant Alistair Quinn but Ralph was able to reclaim much to his relief. The QAS side then capitalised on some uncertainty in the Redlands defence as they were about to make a substitution. When Quinn controlled the ball, took on and beat Redlands captain Ryan Bridge then sent a ball across goalmouth for Mitch Bevan to tap in for his second of the night to give his side a seemingly unassailable 3-0 lead. Excellent work and vision by Quinn and Bevan with the easiest of jobs to finish. After that devastating 15 minute spell, the visitors could have completely collapsed but showed great resolve to fight back. Matt Sieb had a long-range effort cannon back off the post, with Acton beaten. Only three minutes later, Chris Bale crossed, and when it wasn't cleared, the ball eventually fell to Sieb, who drilled a low shot in off the post from the edge of the penalty box. The goal giving Redland some renewed hope, and the QAS defence something to think about. QAS continued their measured build-up play, keeping Chris Bale on his toes in the Redlands goal. Determination from Russell Woodruff saw him win possession and he was able to play in Wayne Knight with a precise pass. However, Knight dragged the shot wide with only Acton to beat.
The visitors continued to press for their second, and Danny Byrne picked up a clearance from Acton and made a mazy run into the QAS penalty box. He cut inside before unleashing a powerful shot from close range that somehow cannoned away to safety. No real surprise when, with 10 minutes to go, some good work on the left by Polistina saw a cross only partially cleared and the ball fell to Chris Bale, who struck a left foot shot into the back of the net. Only partially cleared by under-15 Australian rep Corey Brown and Bale's shot seemed to surprise many when it sneaked in through a crowd of players into the bottom left corner. The last 10 minutes went from end to end as the QAS looked to put the game beyond Redlands, whilst the 10-man visitors looked to get back on level terms. Matt Acton kicked the ball downfield, finding Mitch Bevan who was onside. Bevan cut inside Ryan Bridge, but Ralph made a good save. With only minutes left, Chris Bale stepped up to take a free kick for Redlands, through the QAS wall and forced Acton to make a spectacular save. QAS were hanging on to try and collect their first ever win over Redlands, following two 1-0 defeats last year. Despite having the last strike on goal, they were relieved when David Wiebe put the whistle to his mouth and called an end to proceedings. And afterwards we spoke to both coaches to get their views. I saw a 